And there's a plan in the works for a trail that connects parts of South Carolina to North Carolina. 7 News' Alessandra Young gives us a glimpse of what's in store. This Saluda grade railroad hasn't been used since 2001. Now there are plans in the works for it to become a trail that stretches 31 miles long from right here in Inman to Zirconia, North Carolina. An inactive railroad sits right here in Inman, nearly 16 miles of it located in South Carolina and 15 in North Carolina. State and local representatives, along with nonprofits, have a vision for its future. This will be like a rocket ship taking off right here at Inman. This is the epicenter where we are and just skyrocketing right on through Landrum. Uh, and it'll bring quality of life, quality of jobs, quality of place. David Britt with Spartanburg County says there's already been $5 million allocated towards this project. See, this is an opportunity for a tremendous economic development uh, growth. The plan is for the railroad to be ripped up in a multi-use trail to take its place. Cycling, for hiking, biking, just a general walk, uh, you know, for people to interact. I think it brings communities together. Michael Forrester is with one of the nonprofits involved. He says this trail could bring revitalization and growth to many areas. It will impact so many small towns along the way from Inman to Landrum, Campobello, Tryon, uh, Saluda, North Carolina, Zirconia, North Carolina. You can see how far the trail would stretch on this map provided by PAL and Spartanburg, with 31 miles and other trails intersecting along the way. So potentially there could be hundreds of miles of access to trails along this. He says this idea has been in the works for some time. Three nonprofits that have come together, and that represents Conserving Carolina, Upstate Carolinas, and, and Powell. And right now, Norfolk Southern owns the inactive railroad. Next step, Norfolk Southern's just got to get it turned over and deeded to the, you know, the three nonprofits. Forrester says there's no set timetable just yet, but once everything's finalized, the project could take up to five to six years. He says ripping up 31 miles of railroad doesn't just happen overnight. In Spartanburg County, Alessandra Young, 7 News. We did reach out to Norfolk Southern for comment. They did not respond.